going on YouTube? This is episode 9, Sneakerhead TV. Uh, before we get into anything, I want to uh, give a shout out to Gavin M. Kling, 1988. Uh, he was actually somebody who left a comment and came me up with a topic for this week's conversation. Um, I actually have two uh, topics I want to talk about, but his is going to be uh, last. I want to talk about his because it was a good topic. So, uh, again, shout out to Gavin M. Kling, 1988. So, this week's first topic. It's going to be um, separated into two questions, but it's pretty much the same thing. And that is, what was your first Jordan? Uh, now, the first part of the question is your first Jordan ever in your life, uh, whether it be retros back when they first came out or just something that you picked up um, you know, later on. And also, the second part of the question is, what was the first Jordan that you picked up that started your collection? So, like me personally, uh, my first Jordans ever in my life were the 1997 flu games back in, uh, like I said, 97, the uh, 12s. I got those when they first came out as a kid. And my first shoe, that uh, Jordan shoe that I bought myself that started my collection was the Aqua 8s back in 2007. And that, like I said, pretty much started my collection um, from there. That's the first shoe that I bought personally with my own money. Uh, from working in my job and everything, and that's the first shoe that I bought that started my collection of shoes. Now, the second topic of this week's uh, conversation would be, um, I know a lot of people have problems and they um, don't feel the fusions or hybrids. So I wanted to, uh, you know, you guys to comment on that. What is your problem, or if you don't like fusions, why don't you like them? Uh, me personally, I have no problem with uh, fusions or hybrids at all. It's just some styles that I do like and some styles I don't like. Um, right off the bat, the Fusion 4s, I have these here, the military blue colorway. I thought those were, were pretty dope. At the time, I couldn't find a pair of military blues from 2006, and I got these in 2010, I believe, and I had no idea the military blues were coming out again. Uh, but like you said, I guess I see here, I got the 2006s here. Um, but at the time, I just really wanted a pair of military blue um, shoes, and this is the same materials with the new bug, new bug uh, toe cap that you see on there. Uh, military blue on the crowns. It looks very similar to the actual force, but it's its own style. It still has the Air Force One look to it, so that gives it its uh, you know, casual wear uh, look. And I just really, really like the, uh, the you know, style of it, so I went ahead and copped them, and I got them for sale, so why not? Um, I know the off of the uh, what is it, the fives that came out. I thought those were pretty cool as well, as well as the twelves and the tens. I thought the tens were pretty dope. The shadow tens that came out, uh, I believe in 2010 as well. I thought those were were fire. I thought those were dope as hell. And I didn't get a chance to pick those up, but I did like those a lot. Now the hybrids, the Dub Zeros that came out uh, originally in 2005. I actually do have a pair of those. They're my beaters now, but. I got those as a gift back in 2005, and I thought those were a dope shoe as well. Pretty much any colorway, any colorway, but a lot of the colorways that come out in the Dub Zero is um, clean to me because it's a good looking shoe. Now we got the Spiz Ice. I know a lot of people like the Spiz Ice. Uh, me personally, I don't like them. Uh, I haven't seen a colorway at all that I liked. But the Spiz Ice is just like a weird looking shoe that has too much going on. Now, but. The new, uh, the new hybrid that just came out, the Sun of Mars, uh, a lot of people are dissing those, they don't like them, but I think those are actually pretty cool, like they, they're not like a must-have, but it is a nice looking shoe to me. Um, a lot of colorways are coming out this year, such as the Bordeaux, I think they come out this fall, uh, as well as the, uh, the gray um, University Blue with Maze colorway that's coming out, I think at the end of the summer, and if I can, I'm looking to get those as well. And they just released a... Uh, almost like a white cement uh, colorway for the, the gray school. I thought those were actually pretty cool too. Um, now, there has been a lot of different um, kind of hybrids coming out this the last couple of years, such as like the Rare Air. Um, what else did the, uh, what else came out? The Rare Airs. There's a different, a lot of color, uh, different shoes that came out. The Primes, the Prime Fives, the Prime Ones. Um, they came out a couple of years ago as well. And they haven't did pretty good, but, you know, there's a lot of different uh, hybrids and fusions that's coming out that's, uh, you know, that's liked a lot by people and there's a lot of them that's not liked. And, you know, a lot of people I see who diss the fusions or the hybrids are the same people who think that Jordans 
got ugly after after the 14. It's like there's a lot of people who say um, 15 to the 2012 is just trash and they don't like them. And I just think that's uh, that goes into the same boat. Those people, as the people who did the fusions, that they just like them. They just like the shoes that MJ wore. And if he didn't wear them, then they don't, they don't think they should get them, or they don't think they're hot shoes. And it's kind of weird because I don't want to diss anybody, but I think that's kind of uh, and lightweight hype beast kind of shit. Like it's not. I'm not trying to say if you just like 15s or if you just like 15s or, or 2012s that you're a hype beast. I'm not saying that at all. You get what you like, but. The same people who say that 14, 1 through 14 is the only shoes that they like and they diss Fusions because they're not actual Jordans, there is the hype beast, I think. I think that's kind of like stupid, but it is what it is. You like what you like, you spend your money on what you want to spend your money on. I just think for people to disrespect the shoe because Michael Jordan didn't wear it, it's, it's dumb. It was the same people who don't like the Team Jordans. A lot of Team Jordans that came out were, were very, very highly um, sought after. And a lot of different colorways that are pretty dope of the Team Jordans as well. But to each his own. Like I said, I had no problems with Jordans um, from 1 through 17. I, like, I love the 17s, the 16s, the 15s. I thought the 15s were pretty dope. Uh, if, they ever, if they ever come out with the Obsidian Blue 15s, I'm copying those on site because those are one of my favorite shoes I've ever had in my collection, I've ever had in my life. I love those shoes if I'm copying them as soon as possible. Uh, other than that, you know, I just wanted to get your guys' views on fusions, uh, whether or not you like them or not, um, what your feelings is about fusions, as well as, like I said, the, about the Jordans, what was your first pair of Jordans you ever had in your life, and what was the first pair of Jordans that you picked up uh, that started your collection. Now, there is a couple more uh, release dates that I want to, uh, that you guys know about. Everybody knows the City in Blue 12 just came out this past Saturday, uh, sold out instantly. I didn't get a chance to get my pair, uh, kind of, kind of, like, hesitated to get them. Uh, but I know they're not going for too much on the internet now. Everybody who's trying to resell them only wants like 250 for them, so it's not bad pricing on those. Uh, but let's go ahead and get to a couple more uh, of the release dates coming out this uh, upcoming couple months or so, a couple couple weeks. Uh, this week, just Saturday, June 30th, the Jim Green Phone Project Pros are coming out. Um, so look out for those. As well as uh, next Saturday, not this upcoming Saturday, but the following Saturday, the Olympic Sixes are coming out on July 7th. So guys, look out for those. Um, I'm actually, I'm not a big fan of phones at all. I don't like any phones except for maybe the Electric Blue Pros. Um, but the Gym Greens are looking pretty dope. I'm thinking about actually copying those. Um, if I can get my hands on them and get their money right, I might go ahead and cop them just to uh, have them in my collection, maybe even rock them a couple of times. I do like those a lot. I've seen a couple pictures of them and they look clean. Uh, and they're pretty, pretty dope concept. So uh, that's it for this week's episode, you guys. As always, please leave comments below on your opinions on the topics, as well as leave uh, comments for topics for next week's episode or future episodes. Um, again, Gavin M. Clean, 1988. I appreciate you uh, for leaving that uh, topic to talk about. Very, very dope topic. I appreciate you, man. Um, you guys have a good one. Peace.